Hi, welcome to a video series of how to set up Toby Ghost and start streaming. In this video, we're focusing on the basics, which is getting Toby Ghost and OBS installed. We assume you have your eye tracker and the Toby software up and running, so let's go ahead and get you ready to stream with Toby Ghost. If you haven't already, go to see what Toby Ghost is all about and download the software. All links can be found in the description below. When you open up Toby Ghost, this is what you'll see. By default, the gaze is a bubble that shows you where you're looking on the screen. This can be changed to a solid bubble and a heat map too. Below you have sliders to change the size, responsiveness, and the trail to suit your preferences. Up on the right side, you can also pick whatever color you like. And with the bottom slider, you can change the alpha, also called the opacity, to better blend in with your stream or recording. The bubble you see is just a preview to show you where you're looking and what your viewers will see. Click the preview button to hide it. To completely disable Toby Ghost, use the overlay button up top or use the hotkey Control alt You'll also need to download a streaming software. For this video, we'll use OBS. Other programs like XSplit have a similar setup. If you're not familiar with OBS, we recommend you to use the auto configuration wizard that pops up the first time you start OBS. If you want to learn more about OBS, have any issues, or want to check out more of the settings, you can find a quick start guide in the description below. That's it for this getting started part of the series. In our next video, we'll show you guys in more detail how to set it up and get it running. 